just coming up after me. It's like wanting to be fed. What do you think? See, it's coming up. No? Maybe it's wanting other food. Well, what does he want? Carrot cake? I don't know. Oh, we brought those Bird shrimp. He's like scoping us out. We gave it some shrimp and look at it. All right, so y'all aren't gonna believe this, but we went to the beach for like five hours and we come back and guess what? Our pet, uh, it's called a snowy egret. We're gonna feed them some of our leftovers from last night. And I peeled off some of the coconut, but um, it's basically shrimp. And um, I've heard that they'll uh, eat bologna also. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Where's Chuck at? There he is. He's waiting for me to get out of the way. Oh. Oh, you see it, you see it. See, Chuck's all, all about it. Let's see if he can pick that. Oh, watch there he goes. He can't hurt me that much. Here. Come on, Chuck. Look, look at him. He is gung-ho about the shrimp. He's doing the walk of shame. He's like, I've got the good stuff. See, he'll pick it out of my hand. Watch. There you go. Now, if you happen to have this situation, you probably want to use... I mean, if you want to spin up and get some shrimp somewhere, you can, because they like shrimp. They eat lizards, they eat bologna, they eat, you know. Oh, what was that? You didn't bark at me, You're going anywhere. Ooh, you kind of got my skin a little bit there, but it didn't hurt, it doesn't hurt that much, guys. So they hunt like all these local miniature lizards. They eat those, and then minnows shrimp crustaceans i did a wikipedia on it they used to be endangered because back in the day i don't know if you see their feathers but they're extremely white and women would use them in their hats to um i don't know make their hats look better because they're bright white right, let's do another one ready i'll give you a front row boom there you go boom and see how he's got the yellow feet? That's what makes him, that's how we know that it's the smallest crane. There's like four cranes that are native to Florida. And this is the smallest of the four. And they're native to like the waterways. See so how the waterways there? So even though they're protected, they're not like endangered. All right, you ready? Here you go, buddy. Put me on the spot. I'm gonna throw it up again into his face to see if he catches it. There he goes. He's pretty good. Wow, he does not miss. He wipes his bill off and he's like, show me the money. Give me more. So we've named him Chuck. And the reason why we've named him Chuck is because we have an analogy here where he will sit at the door and he doesn't give a blank. So his name's Chuck. I've got him so he can catch it out of the air. Watch this, you ready? Oh, that was good. All right, we'll see if he, he we're going to get some more bologna and stuff for him. And then we'll see if he's here tomorrow. All right, y'all. So Chuck is back. He flew back to the front door. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring him out on his deck so I can try some training exercises. See how much capability he has for jumping, dancing, whatever. Chuck, come on, there you go, there we go, all right, let's see what we got, oh, there he is, see, he sees me, come on, give me, let's see here, all right, let's see if he'll dance for me, let's see what he'll do, if I do this, nope, he wants to jump up. Trying to see if I can get him to do any dancing. All right, so in case you feed, I'm feeding him like deli ham, but we got some uh, Oscar Mayer bologna. 
So we got that for him. There you go. In case you're wondering, he's very sharp as far as he does not touch my fingers at all. But he very, very precise on his beak, so I don't feel a thing. I guess they do that when they're hunting for minnows too. So here you go. We went, got some bologna. Cut it in like little slivers, almost to like mirror image, like a minnow or something like that. Now it's over by the front door, but I'm sure he's gonna fly over to me as soon as he sees that I got some food. Yeah. Chuck! to see if he'll do some tricks. Okay, now he's on the chair. The distinctive yellow feet, if y'all notice, that's what makes this. Come on. There you go. Well, did he like it? Yeah, he's coming back for more guys. A baloney is a pass for sure. Okay, he's getting closer to it. Just trust him. See if he sees me show up to this front. He's gonna walk all over here. Yep, there he comes. Isn't that crazy, yeah? Right, let's see what he takes. <laughs> Come on, grab it. See, he's like positioning it, and then he swallows it whole. Seems like the skinnier the piece, the better, because he swallows it easier. Hopefully. Oh, Here we go, you ready? Boom, nice catch. Let's try it again, smaller piece. Ready? Boom. All right, last piece. Ready? Nice. Oh, you're just throwing it around, dude. All right, next morning, nine o'clock. Haven't seen Chuck yet. Guess who's back? Hey, there he is. Morning. Chuck is back. Well, how was your morning? Did you have a good day there, Chuck? All right. Here, let me get you some bologna. Oh, he's scratching himself. All right. Let me say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Yeah, there you go. You all zoomed in. He's chattering. I don't know what the chatter means. All right, so we went and saw Top Gun Maverick, which was a really good movie, by the way. We stopped at the Walmart to get some orange juice, and we figured that maybe bologna wasn't the best choice of his diet. So we got some frozen shrimp, which wasn't that bad. It was only five or six bucks for a bag of it, and I'd put it in small pieces to make it easier for him to eat. So now, let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. There he is waiting on us. Let's see how he reacts to shrimp. Look at that, Just, you see it? You see that? Is that is that up your alley? Look at that, oh, he's he's all about it, guys. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, he dropped a piece. That's not good, you dropped a piece. Man, you can see he eats them so quick that he's enjoying it. Man, he's swallowing it like it's, wow. He knows it's good. I got, I didn't get the cooked. I got the raw shrimp at Walmart. So it's like never been processed. Let's see. What do y'all think? You think he'll follow me? Let's see here. Oh, he's running. He's, 
I think he likes it, guys. All right, let's see what happens if I leave the bull there, what happens. Boom. All right. This is Chuck, the friendly egret, and it's called a snowy egret. There's four breeds of egrets in Florida that are native, and this is the smallest of them, and the golden feet, the yellow feet, is what makes them distinctive. Oh, you got a little bit more, guy. It's almost done. I think he really likes the raw shrimp. Yep, he doesn't see any more because there is no more. Well, y'all, that's it for this one. I'm gonna make a video if you enjoyed this content where if you happen to go on vacation in Florida, specifically Fort Myers area, Sanibel Island, that's where we're at. So these uh, egrets, snowy egrets, I recommend, um, feeding them raw shrimp. Bring some with you on your road trip. You never know. You can always cook them out and fry them on your grill if you don't end up having any friendly birds, but at least you have nice quality food that's native to their uh, digestive system and it's not gonna get them sick or anything else. Uh, so you can have fun with your kids and do something good for the environment at the same time. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. It helps the logarithm so other people can see this video and have fun on their vacation. Take care, all right, guys. Chuck. You're good for now, buddy. We'll talk to you in a few hours, all right? We have a guard egret that stands by our door. Has that happened to anybody else? Y'all leave a comment in the comment section if y'all have seen this before. A snowy egret that just chills on your welcome mat and just sits there. I mean, I get it. There's shade there. Maybe it's nice and cool. But, man, he's just hanging out. Just checking out things. I think he knows that he's spoiled with the shrimp at this spot.